all right what's up guys it's been a long time since i did a voiceover but might as well better late than never so yeah so today i'm going to talk to you about i think you guys have been seeing the post um i've been doing an lfa exhaust i've been doing other exhausts too but the lfa exhaust has a lot of like people are pretty liking it so i'm going to explain to you the two different versions that we did so this is the version one you can see the lfa exhaust has the triangle exhaust tips and this one i wanted to do a little bit lighter weight per se but i'll explain so um the headers is so the stock lfa exhaust um it, the exhaust comes from the cylinder bank but the two headers do not merge so they all separate until they get to the muffler so i'll probably show a picture of the lfa exhaust right here and you can see how it all goes back to the rear um, center muffler pretty much this one it converges the headers into just one single mid pipe and then it splits into two and you can see right here there's these two smaller pipes right here that goes into the center muffler and so the valves would be right here so if the valves are closed um, exhaust flow will be diverted to the center muffler and go out to the center exhaust pipe right here and generally this one would be a bit smaller like be a bit constrict um, constrict constrictive so it can make it a bit more quieter so it will both go to this and then if it's open it just goes out to the two and some exhaust flow can go through the muffler as well so yeah that's the version one and then i'll show you version two right here and version two i think has a little bit better flow um, I'm not a bit iffy on this part right here, but it sort of imitates the H pipe, but not really. So the two headers will be separate until it gets to this point right here. And you can see um, this one should be a bit more smoother. I'll fix that later, but yeah. So these are two smaller diameters about, um, let me see. 70 millimeters in diameter. And then it merges to this larger center pipe right here which is an 85 millimeter and this 85 millimeter is just straight through all the way to the center one so that's pretty much no restriction just all the way straight back to this center exhaust tip right here and then if you want i kind of did a mock-up of a valve right here um the valve once it's closed it diverts the gases all the way to this two side mufflers right here um, these are a bit less restrictive than the center muffler from the version one because it's just a high flow um, muffler here It's just straight through so there's no chambers to make it even more quieter. So that's why there's two And I think this one's a bit less um, a bit more smoother in Exhaust flow, but I still have to run the CFD simulation. So I haven't run anything. This is just by design So you can see the diameter of this one is much smaller. Let's see right here Oop can't measure a straight one okay so the diameter is about 65 what i made right here 65 millimeters and then this one is a huge 85 millimeters to go straight so you don't want these two to be as large as this one because there's not going to be enough exhaust flow right there the speed and then you just merge it into a larger one which straight through all the way down so this one looks pretty cool um, yeah, LFA exhaust. Um, I'll show a cross section right here. Um, so you can see like this right here. Whoops. You can see the cross section right here. So it flows through the two pipes and then it merges into one single larger one, which is 85 millimeter. And then it splits into two mufflers or it can go straight through and then it goes to the two pipes like that and then the exhaust tips i think it's about 110 or 105 millimeters so it's pretty standard four inches which is pretty cool and if i go back to version one internet not internet my laptop is so slow let's go to version one cross section right here oops so version one center pipe right here and then it splits into the two mufflers uh not the two mufflers the two main pipes and you can see right here where it can merge into the center muffler like this and the center muffler um i'm not sure if it should be straight through or it should be chambered but it depends 
and then it goes through up here all the way to the three exhaust tips right here so yeah that's the lfa exhaust um i think it's pretty cool hopefully one day someone will make it i'm pretty sure no one don't don't quote me on this but i'm pretty sure no one has done an exhaust on lfa the lfa exhaust is not restrictive at all it just has two main cats uh two silencers and then the rear muffler pretty, pretty much so it's technically pretty loud but there's a bunch of stuff you can do to make it flow much better like the center muffler in the rear it's pretty restrictive uh you can remove the sub mufflers which lex is called i'm pretty sure it's just um some resonators and to make it full loud the headers are already beautiful already so you don't have to touch that you just got to remove the cat um, the catalytic converters if you want to be much louder so yeah, I've put some rendering photos on here. It's actually pretty sick. Um, I'm leaning more towards version two. Some people have said version one looks good, but I think version two looks way better. Look how sick this shit looks, man. And version two, I made it tuck, tuck in a little bit more than version one. But yeah, this shit looks fire as fuck, bro. Damn, homie. All right, so let me know what you guys think, version one or version two. I'm leaning towards uh, version two for the design and for flow. Obviously, um, a lot of people have been saying like <coughs> for exhaust flows. <coughs> Fuck. For exhaust flows, it'll just hit this valve and it will push back. And yeah, it will make the exhaust restrictor once it close the valves. That's pretty much for all exhausts because you can't really have you could have one right here but that's just that's just too much right there so yeah um let me know what you guys think version one or version two and which other car i should make an exhaust on because yeah one day if i could build this i want to learn how to tick weld so i can make this better but yeah so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i hope you're driving your dream car Boom.